The silence in courtroom number six was broken when the jury announced that Karen Harrington, seen here earlier this morning on her way into court, was guilty of murdering Santina Cawley. She showed no emotion as the verdict was returned. July 5th, 2019, and Harrington was caring for little Santina at her apartment in Cork while the infant's father was looking for a cousin of his in town. The trial heard Harrington and Michael Cawley had been arguing earlier in the night. Shortly after 5am, Michael Cawley returned to find his daughter lying in a blood-stained duvet, fighting for her life. She died in her mother's arms a number of hours later. A post-mortem found two-year-old Santina Cawley, described in court as little and defenceless, sustained a complex fractured skull, an injury to her spinal cord, as well as 49 external injuries and four internal injuries. At all times, 38-year-old Harrington had denied she murdered Santina Cawley. But the trial was told DNA and CCTV don't lie. Karen Harrington is now beginning her first night of a life sentence behind bars. And our Southern correspondent Paul Byrne is outside Cork Courthouse for us this evening. So Paul, the sentencing happened straight away after the verdict was returned and the court also heard some powerful victim impact statement today. That's right, um, Caroline. This was an extremely distressing and difficult case from trial for everyone to sit through. And, of course, remember that the jury have been listening to this evidence, hours and hours of evidence, since April 25th. Experienced officers privately have been telling me that this was one of the most harrowing cases of their career. A team of top investigators have been working on this case, not since April 25th, but moments after Santina was found critically injured. That's when this investigation commenced. They were working around the clock. CCTV and the amount of CCTV footage they gathered proved vital in this investigation. Every I was dotted, every T was crossed and they brought this case before the courts. Earlier today, one of the lead investigators, Inspector Danny Collin, who spoke to the media, was part of that investigation team. So the murder of Santina Cawley has had a profound impact on Santina's extended family and across the community. On Garda Shikana notes the decision the court has made today in the conviction and sentence of Karen Harrington for the murder of Santina. The early provision of statements, CCTV, social media clips, doorbell cameras and cooperation with house-to-house -house inquiries greatly aided this investigation. I would like to particularly thank the dedicated investigation team who have worked in this case for almost three years. Justice for Santina was always the ultimate goal for the team since her murder on the 5th of July 2019. This was a particularly emotive case for the members that attended the scene and the investigation team, many having children of a similar age. Santina was always in our thoughts. We would like to again publicly express our sympathies to Santina's family and Angara Shikana will continue to support them as they continue to grieve for Santina. Mr Justice Michael McGrath, who presided over this trial, also acknowledged and complimented the investigation team. Now, just before uh, Karen Harrington was sentenced this afternoon, victim impact statements were read out on behalf of Santina's mother, Bridget O'Donoghue, and her father, Michael Cawley, who left court without making a comment. But basically summing up those victim impact statements, Michael Cawley said his daughter was beautiful and fun-loving. His little girl had a very, very cute smile. Her beautiful eyes, blue eyes and red hair will be sorely missed. May 6th, he said, was Santina's birthday she would have been five she would have been five during this trial but he said all they have now is heavenly birthdays her mother Bridget O'Donoghue said she can remember receiving a knock on the door in the early hours of the morning on July 5th 2019 a guard standing there telling her that Santina had been involved in an accident and she had to go to Cork University Hospital where a number of hours later little Santina was placed in her mother's arms and she said she can remember the bruising and the swelling on her little girl's face and she said basically my little girl, she said, was in a dreadful condition. Her anger towards Karen Harrington, she said, will never ever dissipate. As she said, she can always and always thinks about what Santina may have been thinking in the final moments of her life. Now, on the way out of court this, this afternoon, uh, Bridget was accompanied by her solicitor, Donald Daly, who made a statement on behalf of Bridget O'Donoghue. I've been asked by Bridget, mother of Santina, to make a very brief statement in respect to this matter. She would like to thank the Gardaí for their professionalism and humanity throughout this case. She especially wishes to mention Garda Brendan Ryan, Detective Cormac Trotty, Detective Inspector Danny Collin. She would also like to thank her neighbours for their support throughout this nightmare. She will be forever in debt to the first responders and the medical staff of CUH who fought so long 
and so hard to save Santina's life. Uh, she has said all there is to say in her victim impact report and doesn't wish to make any further comments. She now wishes simply to get on with her life, to mourn Santina with her children. Thank you very much. The circumstances of this case were completely and absolutely shocking and no parent should have to bury their child. Those were some of the words from Mr Justice Michael McGrath while he was handing down the mandatory life sentence to Karen Harrington. She, of course, made no reaction, gave no reaction, made no statement whatsoever. Uh, she was standing by her decision that she did not murder Santina Cawley. She was then led from the courthouse uh, to begin a journey where she will now spend the rest of her life in Limerick Prison. OK, Paul Byrne and Cork, thank you very much for that.